what is the magic number that we want to see our oscillators comfortably above to suggest that this is easy mode versus hard mode? My response to your inquiry, if you're looking for a easy mode, hard mode, is uh, use these momentum oscillators and whatever the relationship is of the indicator off the 50 line. You know, probably the easiest way for you to think about easy mode, hard mode, and corn is our momentum oscillators. What is the magic number? And maybe let's even pull up like a weekly price chart. Just keep it as simple as possible. What is the magic number that we want to see our oscillators comfortably above to suggest that this is easy mode versus hard mode? Maybe it would be a good idea to do both weekly and monthly. The answer I was looking for is our magic 50 line. You can use the 50 line to sort of be like, okay, this is a bear, this is a bull. And actually, this is a really good representation. Do you remember, what do we say about RSI and M's and W's as they sort of progress over time? What are we supposed to be thinking if we see the first M, because keep in mind, W, all right, rocking and rolling, but boom, oh my goodness, we just got an M come in on RSI. What are we supposed to be thinking on the first M that we see. Is this a sell signal? M's and W's? If it's the first W that you see, this actually stops the bear slide. So you can kind of see how we W'd out here. Uh, and then the next one right here, and if it comes through the 50 line, then it's a super uber signal. But the second one, we usually do it in yellow. And I guess he doesn't have a third one. The third one, you can see, see and notice how another W comes in up top here. I usually do the third one in purple, and that's where the noobs usually come piling in. And then, of course, you can see they got broken. And then there's a cute little W, and then, oh, boy, M's. And then, oh, boy, oh, what a mess. And then we start the W process all over again. So just the point being that the, the very first W that you see or the very first M that you see is, is a message that the previous move you know, if you see an M, then the previous up move, if you see a W, the previous down move, it's probably exhausting itself. And if you are going in that direction, you probably should just pull your jet. This message here, of course, we have this big up move. And, you know, I mean, by when it snows, right? Uh, and actually, here we are, like September, October, November, right? December, by when it snows. I think you could make the argument that that was that seasonal push. It was a hell of a push. And then we have an M that comes in here. This is the first M. And I think this is a cool your jets M. I don't think this is a sell. We'll get a sell if another M comes in here. And in this case, if it's the second M, then that's yellow, which is the trade if there's going to be one. I don't know whether I would use this or not. That's kind of a tough one. You can kind of see how there's a couple W's. So this, this W fired here, then this bigger W fired. So if there was a trade, I think it would be on this event right here. The issue, of course, is what did price do? You know, it might just be interesting just to see, just illustration purposes. That went through there. So what did price do through this move right here? That was that rally. That makes sense. As soon as that rally exhausted itself, back down we go. And of course, you can see new M comes in uh, right here. Stop the bull. So you were looking for sort of a magic indicator, easy mode, hard mode. I might argue that something as simple as an oscillator like this is probably your your simplest easy mode, hard mode, sort of litmus test, if you will. There is a special stipulation here that says that if this second M comes in and it's yellow and it comes in through the 50 line, that, oh boy, that's going to be a big move. So like, for instance, if this went down here, then up and then down and broke through the 50 line, wow, that is a massive sell signal. Uh, I don't know whether I can find one for you or not. Probably you'll see this more off the daily chart. Let's see if I can show you an example off the daily. Daily probably is better to use. Let's see what we got here. So here's our daily chart. We'll throw on our relative strength index. 
Boom. You've seen Julian talk about this, Lawrence. I've been talking, of course, about that massive bearish divergence, and we had a little bit of a di diver bearish divergence here. Here's probably a really good example where you can see here is the first M. So that stops the bull. And notice, and so this would be in teal. This second M, boom, 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 there's your trade. And that is in yellow. Come sit next to me, you fine fellow. Like so, right there. Now, just for illustration purposes, let's uh, go see what the hell price did on that breakdown through there. And also notice too, interesting there, yeah, where the hell is the 50 line? Oh, it's all the way there. So it's not quite through the 50 line, but pretty damn close. But, you know, it might be interesting. Let's just go see what the hell price did. That was this right there. Boosh. Not bad. Didn't quite go through the 50 line, but really nasty break. Then notice, do you see how market W'd out? So this would be teal. Boom, 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 boom. Not necessarily a buy signal, but more like, uh, well, if you're a bear, you better cool your jets. Oh, darn. If you're a bear, you better cool your jets. So like that. So you can kind of see, cool your jets, trade, cool your jets now for the bears. And we never did really get another W following that. So there really no was no buy signal following this. And I think that kind of makes sense. So you had your sell signal. It produced this dump. It wasn't really through the 50 line, so it wasn't hugely powerful. But you notice we had these Ws come in on all the oscillators right here. So back up we go, bears, cool your jets. And sure enough, that really wasn't a trade. We've just been floundering around here. My response to your inquiry, if you're looking for a easy mode, hard mode, is uh, use these momentum oscillators and whatever the relationship is of the indicator off the 50 line. The fact that we have this really nasty M here kind of broke just below the 50 line. I don't know whether I would consider that uh, a sell signal per se. I mean, I think you had a cute little M here, but it looks like that high went through that top there. I get the impression that this is just sort of like, okay, uh, bulls, you better cool your jets. Remember the weekly chart, it also had bulls, you better cool your jets. So we're getting lots and lots of messages for the bulls to cool your jets. If you were really looking for a killer trade now, I think what you'd love to see is a rally back to the 50 line and then some sort of failure, maybe even a little bit above the 50 line and some sort of failure failure through the 50 line, which would be sort of our second M. And of course, that would be yellow, which means that this would be a trade because it's our second M. And uh, it would be through the 50 line, which might be an absolutely explosive move. Maybe kind of like what you see here. Notice that move through that 50 line. Let's see what the hell price did through that event there. Yeah. So you can see uh, through the 50 line, M out and market just absolutely puked out. So that's kind of what I would be thinking that, you know, if you, if you are thinking lower and I am heading into May, June, I like that, right? And actually this is exactly what I had said in the public broadcast is that I wanted to see RSI come up. You see, we have this big ugly M here. I want to see RSI come back up to the trend line. And then if it can put in an M like that, and it probably happens right through that June FOM meeting. So maybe that means that this thing doesn't actually happen until like maybe over here. I could really, I could see a trade develop really nicely, something along those lines. Watch for how this RSI acts around the 50 line. And as long as we're below, technically that's saying that this market's not happy. Uh, it's in hard mode. And as long as we're structurally breaking down through that, then that actually means that the market's in a bear market.